Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here on the Citadel server, playing some Minecraft. We're at the West Hill build where we have been for quite some time. Gonna pick up where we left off yesterday. Uh, we finished up this side of the riverbank. We're probably gonna do some work on the other side as well as maybe put some details in over by the East Stone Bridge. First though, I've got to thank Mind Trip Media for 100 bits in the, uh, the pre-show countdown as well as Dan Grice for resubbing. That's 34 months for Dan and Cosmic Dancer using a thousand bits to kick off a hype train. So we're 80% of the way through level one on that hype train. If you want to participate, it's a uh, hundred bits to support the stream. You can use a tier one sub or a prime sub to uh, join in on the fun. And there are some new hype train emotes that you can get a handle on. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, then you can jump in just like Cosmic Dancer has done again with 10 gifted subs. Holy smoke, Cosmic. KKYMY looks like Box Milk, Crystal Alpaca, Bad Mary, Surgical IP, Grey Knight, 18 Marcel, uh, Finnish Kiwi, Sonic, and Ramunez. Thanks very much for those uh, gift subs, Cosmic. Uh, folks, if you got a gift sub, connect your Discord and your Twitch and join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Now you can join. You can also join via Patreon. If Twitch isn't your thing, then you can check out patreon.com slash Joel Duggan and join that way. I'm going to organize my inventory a little bit here. I feel like where we left off was wanting to do some stonework down here. I feel like I wanted to do some some detail work here. It's it's not bad. Um, I feel like we could maybe maybe add some stuff on this side maybe like a rock or something there there is this weird little little dip that doesn't make a lot of sense so i feel like if we had had some rocks and stuff down there that might might help grandpa crafter jumping in with 100 bits on that hype train thank you ever so much gravel stone and a site I've got that. Uh, that. It should be good, although I guess I don't need the uh, leave the seagrass. I don't need some of this green stuff right now. Got a lot of shulker boxes over here. Cool. Uh, Anonymous gifted a tier one sub that I want to nerd3159. And Cosmic Dancer jumping in with another 1,000 bits. That completes that level of the hype train. Where are we now? Cosmic Dancer, thank you ever so much for the 1,000 bits. Level three. Level three is completed. So we're working on level four. Yeah, I feel like just standing here, that feels like a natural place for a rock to be. Maybe with some slabs. Nothing too fancy, just something cool to look at. And then, of course, we can go back in there with the seagrass and make it look like it's covered a bit. Kind of like that idea. And then maybe we can pop in with some mossy cobble. Yeah, I think that looks okay. Nothing too fancy, but just something to help transition. Uh, and then I know yesterday I was looking around and thinking that some of this tall seagrass was a little bit too much. Don't mind it over here.
I really wish we can get seagrass to do stuff along here. That'd be nice. Like come through the water on a one block high block. That would be nice. Happy says, hope you had a good break, Joel. Yeah. Yep. Had a nice Christmas. I kind of delayed coming, coming back, <clears throat> excuse me, to, uh, to streaming just cause I had such a good break. It was kind of hard to get back into work mode, you know? Yeah, I think that's pretty good. I'm going to put another little rock maybe right here. I think maybe that was better as it was. Yep. That works for me. And then I think some of this was just wanting to cut down a little bit more of the tall seagrass over here. That was a little bit distracting. Kind of want to keep the focus on, on this side of the river. Maybe we'll bring one of those back. I like this. This is nice. Maybe we'll make a third one. I like to try and have them go in a way that looks like, like it shows the way that the river might flow, even though water doesn't really flow like that in Minecraft. Oh man. Nerd, uh, students around here went back to school on January 2nd. So count yourself lucky. Sleep, please. I'd like sunshine. Go. I find you really notice the lack of daylight when you're doing underwater work. That was a level three hype train to kick off the stream. Thank you ever so much, folks. I really, really appreciate the support. Check to see what emote that you got. Looks like I got a crying Game Boy. <laughs> no, that's what Cosmic got. No, I got I got the same thing. Looks like a crying Game Boy. Old player has raided with a party of 13. Welcome in, old player. And old player friends. Thanks so much for sharing your viewers. That's a great way to kick off the stream. We just finished a hype train. I've been live for all of 15 minutes. Welcome in everyone. What were you doing on stream today? Pixel Rifts, tier one, subscribing for 64 months. That's a stack of Pixel Rifts, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks ever so much, Pix. Long time no chat. <laughs> Long time no chat. Uh, for folks that don't know, the joke is that um, Pixriffs and I just recorded an episode of the Sponge Chunks this morning with Nembon, the, uh, one of the developers at Mojang. Kind enough to hang out with us for a couple hours. It was a really, really fun conversation. Really smart, smart individual. Fun to talk to them. And they love Minecraft, which is very, very cool. Um, old player, what were you up to on stream? Did I miss it? Or if any, or if old player, if you get a bail, then I appreciate it. You know, I know that after stream, I normally need a screen break as well. A great stream on today on a public SMP Minecraft survival server. Lots of game money and great items too. Oh, very cool. Very cool. In-game money. So is that like in-game currency? How does one stack a pixel riffs? I mean, efficiently, I would say lay them down sideways. 
because uh, I, th I think Pixie, you're, you and I are roughly the same height. So stacking one on top of the other would be, you know, problematic. You'd run out of space real soon. So the, for the efficiency of space in your chests, I would say uh, the horizontal Pixarus stack a lot easier than vertical. Avoids wear and tear. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That it does. That it does. So here, I just wanted to add a touch where uh, there might be some uh, sediment or something coming out from this um, this culvert. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to remember what's here. This is a too high grass. I'm going to remove this with the proper tool and replace it with gravel. But I want to put the grass back on top of it again. Whoop, or not. That's the wrong button. And I find sometimes little bits like this, little bits of gray can help kind of like make this feel more natural. And I think I'll put another one down here. My shears. Do tough this time. Right. So thinking about what sediment might be coming through there, there might be lots of good food for plants and, and whatnot. So maybe this has got extra, extra stuff around. I find the more you layer that kind of stuff, the better. Uh, I think we're pretty good with like the bushes and the overlapping the stone and whatnot. So I don't want to go too overboard there. I could maybe figure out one more azalea bush. Where would that go? Um, I think maybe here would be good. Yeah, kind of helps. Kind of helps pull that down a little bit. Yeah, I'm good with that. And this is already done over here, although nothing underneath the bridge is done. That side maybe. Nothing there. So the real question is like, what are we going to do here? And I think one of the solutions would be to maybe um, pull out some of this to be a little bit closer. So it doesn't look like a weird, flat, empty area. I think it might be good to maybe create a, a bit of a grade on the hillside that goes up a bit. I don't want to go too far because I do like these trees. I might even want to plant more trees, actually. More trees would be a good idea, too. Old player's got to go for now. Uh, friends, thank you for coming in with that raid. Hope you can stick around. Uh, take care, old player. Appreciate the raid. And for anybody here on my stream, if you want to go check out old player, be sure to follow there in chat and see what they're up to. Checking out the in-game currency on a multiplayer server. Thanks for the lurk, Pex. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I think that's definitely what's happening next over there. So let's... Uh, Get some grass and dirt. And I'll probably put away things like mud. Coarse dirt. Probably put some of these slabs and things away. Happy monthly donation day from Cosmic with a monthly tip of $10. Thank you so much, Cosmic. Very much appreciated. For folks that don't know, you can set that up via Streamlabs. It's uh, basically, it's just a PayPal donation, but it's something that you can set up to do uh, monthly without having to do it yourself. Uh, it'll just happen on the same day every month for your favorite creator. You just set it up if they've got Streamlabs and uh, set it up as a monthly recurring donation. I think you just do a regular donate and then there's an option within there to, to tweak it to a monthly. Uh, and then you'll get a notification in, in live chat so that if you're not streaming, like if I'm not streaming or if you're not online um, when the donation comes out, then you can always do the little toast thing like Cosmic did a little bit later. Too bad you can't have a portable item sorting system. Yeah. 
But, you know, first world problems, I guess. Right, I think I'll leave some of this in here. Yeah. And I'll put seagrass away. Got lots of that stuff. I'm going to get the moss back. We might need to get, get some more concrete powder. Do I have any? Con oh, yeah. Now we're going to have to make some concrete powder. That means sand and gravel and dye. That's all going to be back. It's all going to be back at the, um, the keep. I'll wait for that for last. So this is where the map mod that we use, the Zero's Minimap and Zero's World Map, comes in really handy. So you can see this very, very flat area. Uh, and the reason why it's flat, Minecraft did not make that. Uh, the river actually used to be right up in there. It was a really odd, wide section of the river before it got narrow again and went around the corner. So a lot of this was me filling it in. Uh, but I think now that we're going to go up a little bit, uh, I'm going to want to um, create at least probably two layers, probably two layers. And so I should bring some saplings. What do we want to do? A couple of birch. I don't know if I have any birch saplings. I know I've got oak saplings. Maybe we'll just leave that into the oak ones. It's almost like Nightbot reminded you. <laughs> Funny how that works. So I think I'm going to try to make this not like perfectly symmetrical with the edge, but I'd like to try and do something that's sort of like probably at least four blocks back. So one, two, three, four. Like that. And then maybe we'll just go a little bit steeper into the back there. And we'll maybe round this out a little bit. So something like that could be cool. And you can see how the map comes in very handy when you're doing stuff like this. That might even be too far. We might want to back that up a bit. So you can sort of see how you can quickly map out a little bit of a hill. So I'm trying to think about like the curve of the river, but then also the curve of this hill behind it and kind of like mimic going between. And then maybe one more tier, but we won't go back quite as far. We did one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe we'll just do four. And we'll come up there. And I'm losing the sunshine again. Usually a river beach is flatter on the outside and has a steeper inner because of the sediment deposition. Yeah, no, exactly. Yep. I don't think the river here is flowing all that quickly. Um, but I definitely think about that when I'm doing things like, I want to say... I want to say one of the other rivers is like that. Like this one gets a little bit steeper. And then the closer you get to the farmland, the the more shallow the riverscape is. But then as you get down in here into the rocky areas, it gets very, very steep. So here's a good example, I guess. You know, like there's a nice a steep cut as it goes around and then something a little bit more sedimentary, I guess. There's always a bit of creative license in Minecraft because, you know, obviously the water doesn't flow or deposit anything. But it is nice to think about that, you know, and kind of have that in mind. Scotsman UK, hello. Good to see you. Hope everything is well. All right, so we're going to do... I think I'm going to move this in a bit. So this is going to go across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven...
A couple of these trees are going to have to go. And we'll replace those, I guess. I was talking about this a little bit on the recording earlier in that I just I really like the freedom sometimes of doing these little projects outside of a big build because like I don't really have a plan I'm just kind of like going with the flow and seeing where the landscape takes me and also I think too to try and not create like a ton of work for myself I'm trying not to overthink it and trying to like manage that I want to do something here but I don't want to spend 17 hours trying to make the perfect hillside you know like i kind of want to get it to a good enough part you know a good enough standpoint where you can walk away and say like yeah it doesn't look boring uh but it's also not um not default minecraft either i've got a funny feeling this is gonna go Try not to take out any leaves because I think it might be cool to um, maybe elongate some of the trees. Holy smokes! Cosmic Dancer with a Happy New Year donation of $100. That's incredible. Here's to me telling you about more pink <laughs> and use more flowers in 2024. Well, you have earned that right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cosmic. I really appreciate it. That's amazing. So here's a fun, you know, thing we could lean into, right? Like there's a there's a bit of natural stone here from the world. But what we can do is potentially, you know, have a rock here next to the tree. And maybe that's something that we could use for inspiration. Might be a good way to create a cliff side here that's steeper than normal right so maybe something like that maybe we go in here with some slabs I'm not sure whether that's going to be in a good spot. Yeah, I mean, like, it, it's there and it's interesting, but it's not, like, super distracting. I think that works. And I think to cover up a lot of this, I'm just going to use trees. I think a lot of this is just going to be trees as they get a little bit closer to the to the river because riverbanks can be this steep it just it feels a little bit a little bit manufactured with the straight line but oh i just completely covered up my line whoops i meant to have that all Sorted. There we go. All this landscaping has done wonders for all the dirt that I've got collected in chests that I don't know what to do with. I've got lots of options now. I might have to go get some more birch. Is there any birch tree that's coming down? No. Oh, there's an extra piece there. Did any of them need just one? I thought one of them had just like one block. No, it was two there. Oh, that one. So yeah, I'm going to pop over, I guess, and get some birch. 
I might have to get some more dirt too. Not very often that I have to go get birch stuff. Yeah, we're well, definitely going to get some more dirt. And grass and the birch shulker box. And what else did I need? Maybe birch saplings, but that'll be in the shulker box. Grandpa Crafter gifting a tier one sub to MDocs25. Thanks ever so much, Grandpa. Appreciate it. If you have not already MDocs, connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts and join the Joel Duggan Discord. You can now do that for the next month of your sub. Uh, yes, so far MDocs, the weekend has been great. We uh, had a great interview with Nembon on an early recording of the Spawn Trunks. It was a private call, so uh, there won't be a live show on Monday. Um, but that went very, very well. Really good conversation. And um, then I had pancakes. So if you're like, Joel, you're full of energy. It's mostly maple syrup. It's mostly sugar. That's That's where we are right now. This is one mod, this little animated transition mod that's not working yet in 1.20.4. And I wish it was. Because I really like it. I think it makes Minecraft feel like more of a modern game. All right, grass, get some more grass. And birch. Yep, okay, we're good. Something I'm going to miss when I move on to a new project. I mean, I guess I'll have all these shulker boxes to take with me. But something I'm going to miss is um, the ability to just have all of the things organized for a build. Because that takes time. You know, like it takes time to spend weeks in an area as you're building out like a guardian farm or your castle or whatever it is that you're doing. And as you are deciding what you're building and how you're building it, you start to organize your, your, um, storage. And I find that I'm going to, I'm going to be feeling spoiled having spent so long here in West Hill that it's going to be like, Oh man, I have to start my artistic organization of my brain over again. All right. So let's grab a stack of birch. I'll get a full stack or most of a stack of oak. I'll bring some birch saplings just in case. I don't think we're gonna need them. And then lots of dirt and lots of grass. Elcor95, good to see you, what's up? Yes, I do have a Discord, imagine that. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I was thinking about this today when we were talking about the history of, of the spawn trunks and some of the, the people that we've talked to over the years. Uh, I have actually been streaming for a while. Like I feel like it's six years this March. Twitch does a terrible job of rem like reminding you when your stream anniversary is. And I feel like I've mentioned it before somewhere, somehow, but um, I missed the big one. Like I missed like the five year mark. So this is either six or seven years coming up. Cosmic, you probably know better than I do. But it's in the, it's in the winter. Like it's, I think I started doing a lot more streaming after the spawn chunks kind of took off. So, or or just before, sorry. Yeah, just before the spawn chunks is where I did a lot of streaming, I think. I think this one tree might have to go.
Uh, the affiliate anniversary, at least. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. I think I joined you after you started streaming more regularly, and I found via the Spawn Chunks around six-ish years ago. Yeah. So the Spawn Chunks has not been going for six years. The Spawn Chunks has been going for five and a bit. We, we just turned five, if I remember, in August. Because it was 2019. Because I remember this... Because uh, here's the thing. I remember the Spawn Chunks starting getting some traction and then the 2020 lockdown pandemic stuff happened and i remember having that discussion with johnny saying okay now that this has been going well for like six months if we lean into it with all the stuff that's going on now and so many eyeballs on the internet we could we could really get it into a lot of a lot of people's regular consumption and so we we spent a lot of time during that first year of the pandemic to just really try and get um get the spawn chunks out there as much as we could. I've been trying to come up with ideas in 20, for 2024 to help grow the spawn chunks and help grow the uh, the Citadel Cafe. I want the podcasting stuff to grow more this, this year and specifically. It's not like we haven't been growing, but we certainly have slowed a bit and I want to try to maintain that momentum. So here's where I kind of, I'm debating whether or not I should just put like a rocky cliff here. So rather than building, it might be better to just like dig some of this dirt away. So rather than trying to build this up, it might be better to try and sculpt it down a little bit. But I don't know. I don't want to necessarily remove height from it if I can either. Because I feel like, I feel like that's a good height. If you start taking it down, it's going to be a little bit funky. So maybe we'll just take what's there in terms of the Minecraft, you know, what it's given me. Well, you know, that's not too bad. And then we can come along here, kind of do whatever we want. Oh, unless we run out of stone, <laughs> but that might be a good idea to just back away. Kind of look and see what that might, that might feel like. Yeah, we're definitely gonna to wanna to knock it back a tier as well. So we'll do that too. Actually, some of that might be good. Need more rockets. Oh, no room. This is the kind of stuff where I really notice the inventory crunch. And you need like just a little bit of everything. Uh, affiliate anniversary can be viewed on the channel settings page under stream events and you have the option to set it to be an actual event from there if you want. I think that was new last year, Scotsman, and I think that's how I realized, oh, but like I saw that and it was like two weeks past the event. It was like, well, thanks Twitch. <laughs> thanks for letting me know. It would have been nice to know, you know, <laughs> about three weeks ago. That would have been more useful. So I think what we'll do is we'll come back here. Oh, we don't need that.
Hopefully this isn't like overdoing it. No, I think that's good. We can maybe shape it a little bit. Uh, no, I think that's fine. The knockback from, from here to one block back, I think works quite well. Maybe what we'll do is actually take this down. Right, and then maybe punch it back here. Poke this back here. Yep. Full inventory again. What can we get rid of? Let's toss that. I guess I don't need two stacks of tough either. You can if you wish to do more of a celebration event on a yearly basis so that it takes place at a time when you know you'll be streaming within two weeks of the given date. Oh, that makes that makes sense. Because I mean, like I, I don't stream every day. And so if my anniversary date is on like a Monday or something like that, I'd be busy doing the spawn chunk. So I wouldn't want to stream that day. But I mean, I would also consider making like a special occasion out of it. That would be fun. That would be fun. Oak leaves and azalea leaves. Don't need two kinds of tough or two stacks of tough or probably overkill right now. So already that is more interesting than what was there, right? And it's not like we've changed a lot, but it's just sort of sorting uh, a little bit of the, the visual lines out. Let's see what's happened. I don't mind that this is so, so steep. I might actually just push that out a little bit. And then maybe we'll push this back so that this can have some green tops to it. Something like that. Rabelais, resubscribing 43 months in a row. Thanking Cosmic for the gift sub. That's 12 months of a gift subscription that's been courtesy of Cosmic Dancer entering the second month. Thanks so much, Cosmic, for the support, and good to see you, Rabelais. Hope you're having a good weekend so far. So all I'm doing here is trying to create like a little natural looking kind of indent in the hillside. And here is why I wanted to have extra logs with me because sometimes you can do some fun stuff by just taking existing trees. And if you remove the land underneath them, you can kind of like pull the trunks down into something that makes a little bit more sense. So I'll finish up this top part. I'll probably do this bank on it as its own thing. So I won't worry too much about over here. It's mostly this north face that I'm trying to focus on right now. And I think I've mentioned this before, but like I generally just try not to think too hard about this stuff. You just kind of go with just a kind of a general flow of things and trying to make it, you know, remove the double high dirt where you can. And obviously this all needs to have some grass grow on it. So it'll take a little bit of time. And does this have a trunk that's kind of on it? It's kind of odd, isn't it? 
I think what we'll do in this case is we'll take the existing location that Minecraft gave us. I'm just going to plant a sapling there. But then I'll remove everything else. And that will technically grow through that, I think. So what I can do is maybe remove all of this and just kind of see what happens. See what kind of tree that gives us? Why not, right? We'll see. Uh, this is, I think, going to go. But trees are a great way to hide um, a too high cliff like this. So we just that double sided dirt. So I think maybe what I'll do here, same thing. I'll just, uh, I don't know if a tree will grow with a block like that next to it. It might not. Things I should know, but I don't remember. And I think that's fine. That also helps hide that kind of area. And then we can also just come in here. Fill that up a bit. A bit further up in chat, uh, MDocs asked, how do you stop burnouts by taking two and a half weeks vacation at Christmas time? <laughs> um, I know you talked about taking a break on the last Bontrax episode. Not sure if you wanted to add any more. Uh, I, think, I think in terms of project burnout, uh, having multiple things on the go is nice. Uh, having, um, oh, these are decaying. All right, never mind. We're just going to let this do its thing. Some of those were natural, I guess, and some of those were placed by me. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, being on a server is good because then like Cosmic might need help with a technical build or I might want to build a moss farm for the server, which I did a couple of years ago. And stuff like that is a nice way to break things up. Um, learning how to do technical stuff in Minecraft. Uh, we had a the part of the conversation, which I, I won't get into the details of with Nembon today was um, how he does things in Minecraft and how he finds things to do. And he just, it just cascades. Like if you can spread your wings and try different aspects of the game, then I think that you end up with uh, no list of things to do. But then it's the idea of keeping those things to be varied. Like I definitely have experienced a little bit of burnout as I've been working in West Hill over the last few years, because this is a big project, right? You get really bored with brown and gray. So that kind of stuff you, you tend to want to um, take a break from. But that's when I've had other technical projects or I, I also play other games, you know, like I think that's the other thing. We get that a lot like, hey, uh, and I'm not saying you said this, MDocs, but I'm saying like in general, we'll get some feedback or something to say like, hey, I'm bored in Minecraft, what do I do? And I mean, like Johnny and I, the first thing we usually say is don't play Minecraft, you know, go read a book or go play a different game. And it can be another building game. Like I really like Satisfactory and I don't get a lot of like crossover inspiration from Satisfactory, but I certainly enjoy the fact that I'm still creating and I'm still building and I'm still problem solving, but I'm not, um, I'm not doing it in Minecraft. And because of that difference, it definitely feels um, better for me. I think, anyway. All right, that's not too bad. That's a really tall tree. I might want to add a little bit of leafy goodness underneath this. a little symmetrical that's fine okay so Let's think about where I might want a couple of trees. And usually this needs to be something you do from farther away. Cosmic says, I feel like taking a break uh, over Christmas. I found another game to play and I find a, I came up with lots more ideas to work on my current Minecraft projects. Yeah, totally. Totally, totally. I think that another thing MDocs would be now that you've got the, the gift sub, 
uh, join my discord and um, then like talk to other people about Minecraft. Because if you, if you get into a community, whether it's mine or the spawn trunks or, or, you know, something else, granted, there's a lot of overlap between mine and the spawn trunks. But if you get into a community that loves Minecraft, ultimately they don't talk about Minecraft 24 seven, right? So that if you get into that community, then they'll start talking about like, what's that steampunk game steampunk build it's got a terrible name but it looks kind of cool you know like there'll be other similar games you know um city skylines and um uh, even something similar like um oxygen not included i'm just rattling off games that i've been interested in you know you'll see um conversations come up about steam world build thank you cosmic um Oh, Mr. Cosmic was playing that? That's cool. What did what did he think? Uh but stuff like that, you'll see different games and different um like entertainment medium come up in conversation and you know that you're surrounded with people that like Minecraft and so you're probably going to have similar interests, you know? So I think we need a tree there. And probably another one Somewhere's about there. So like kind of out in front here. And then right in that little spot there. Loved it. First time in a while I've seen him stay up later than me playing a game in a long time. <laughs> that's that's a vote of confidence. When a game keeps you up past your bedtime. When um and I'll I'll lovingly lump you all into the same group of olds that i am <laughs> a part of um i've been bad in that i i keep on getting games and then i just don't seem to have the energy or the time to play them um on days that i work out like i by the time i'm finished dinner it's like 8 30 and i just think i'd love to play a game for two hours but i don't think i'm going to be awake for another hour so i haven't bothered but i picked up uh, red dead redemption 2 for something really cheap like I think it was like $25 or something. I'm going to move this one. Um, it was like $25 on Xbox over Christmas. Big sale. Do I want one of those to be birch trees? I don't think so. And then maybe... Maybe another one there. I feel like we need something else here too. So we're gonna line it up with that one. Which I think I just did. <laughs> Whoops. Uh let's put you Oh, there's a weird weird tree there. Let's um Chop that away. And I'll just move you back to there, maybe. I've got no idea what these are going to do, what they're going to look like, but we'll see. And here, I think we can maybe squeeze in more of that andesite. And maybe we can squeeze in a little bit more over here too. Maybe not quite that far.
Okay, so until those trees grow in, there's really not much I can do up that way. So then I'm going to focus a little bit more on the riverbank right here. I could always hit them with some bone meal, but for now, I'm happy with just kind of letting them do their own thing. And I think I want to go and look at some of the things that we've done on other riverbanks. So we'll just wander down this way. Uh, Mindtrip Media says Lego helps me stay inspired. That's not a great thing too. You can always um, do that or um, there's Minecraft Legends, Minecraft Dungeons. You know, there's other stuff that you can do. Um, Saffrogan. And I do have the phonetic pronunciation in the Discord that I have not memorized yet. Uh, I'm also taking a Minecraft break at the moment and instead of playing some Stardew uh, instead I am playing some Stardew Valley. Very cool. I know Pix plays Stardew Valley from time to time. Are you planning my next Minecraft projects? Oh, and I also picked up new Lego for the first time in 20 years. Thanks to my little nephew. Very cool. What uh, what Lego set are you playing with? What's the new what's the new hotness? Yeah, I think something like this is all we need. Just like some spotty grass, maybe the odd little bit of of packed mud and and uh rooted dirt. Gosh, there's so much texturing to do on these roads. This is the beginning of year three on town. Uh, no, year three started in November. So we are we are into year th four, <laughs> which is just don't make me say it out again, please. Thank you. I mean, I'm proud of it, but I'm also just like, wow, that's. You know, I mean, I guess you can rack up the time quite easily when it's your job, right? Or part of your job. Um, I have moss. I think we can get rid of some of this. I didn't need to lay out as much dirt and grass as I thought I was going to. Bring that just in case and grass, ferns, bone meal. That's it. Trying to keep it simple. And I've got that and moss carpet. Break time when you're ready. Well, that's a good spot. Before I start tackling this lower area of the river, it looks kind of funny right there, but. If you look at it on the map, it actually has a nice curve to it. I do like seeing the little rocks that we put in on the map. It's a fun, fun feature. Yes, good call, Cosmic. I will take that break before I start the next phase. But even that change has made that feel a lot more interesting. And we have a tree. Success. Cool. I'll be back in about five or six minutes, folks. If you're new to the stream, thanks to that raid, um, I uh, I take a break once an hour. Gives me a chance to zap the old coffee and gives you a chance to go grab a friend and bring them into the stream. I will be right back.
All right. Something else that I was just thinking about uh, in terms of the, um, uh, the, the burnout in Minecraft is <laughs> subtle. <laughs> Real subtle. <laughs> Sorry. As I was saying, um, something that I've been doing, not on purpose lately, but because my mornings have been so busy with design stuff and we had that extra spawn chunks recording this morning, my streams have been shorter. I've only been able to stream for like two hours instead of the normal three to three and a half. And so uh, MDocs, one of the things that you could do if you have the self-discipline to keep yourself from getting burnt out in Minecraft is limit your playtime. Like rather than sitting down in an evening and playing until you're bored, only play for an hour or only play for 90 minutes or like whatever it is, keep it a really small window. And then whatever you don't finish, you'll have to finish tomorrow. And I think that just like, you know, when a TV show has a cliffhanger, um, I have a really tough time when I come to the end of a stream and I'm not done what I'm doing and I have to walk away from it. I can't wait to get back to it the next day and actually do it. So, so I feel like that might be a way to keep things fresh with Minecraft too, or with any other building game or art project, that kind of stuff. All right. I'm not waiting for that last tree. We're going to hit that with some bone meal and see what happens. I kind of want to see if that will be a, like a big tree. Hold on. Before I do that, I feel like putting a slab next to it was the way to guarantee that it was a big tree. I think I had to look that up before. I did it with two trees over that way somewhere. Oh no, it's, it's those ones. Yeah, you know what? I think I'd be okay with that being a big tree. So let's try that. I think it was a slab in that space, I wanna say. Oh, maybe not. I wonder if it's that little thing. Just eat my bone meal. What's going on? Why won't you grow? Well, it's not quite a giant tree, but it's better than just one that was six blocks tall. <laughs> All right. Well, I feel like some of those could probably stay, but the ones here on the edge, I'm going to move. I wish you could put flowers in a bow and arrow. That'd be very fun. <laughs> anyway uh what i was thinking with the edge i'm going to focus on the edge of the river first i'm just thinking like maybe the river here takes a little bit of a uh, of wear and tear as it kind of turns the corner so maybe our you know river's edge here can have a little bit of stuff going on and then within this we could also do that coarse dirt not coarse dirt, that rooted dirt and muddy combo, packed mud combo. And then maybe here. It's subtle, but I think that it's, um, it helps a little bit. I think it's also important to have like a little bit of green that still gets to the edge and maybe here we can replace that with like a moss block so that it doesn't have that dirt side on it And then to help blend that in, maybe we just create like a little pattern.
a little bit tougher here because this is, I want to say, I think this is a river biome. Uh, yeah, so moss does not always go very well in a river biome. So I may, might end up changing this back because the grass color doesn't match the moss. You can see over here, it's a little bit different because this is a forest. Still not amazing. Finnish Kiwi, hello. Welcome in. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. That dirt block might be a little bit much. I'm not in love with the moss. It might look better once we get grass and stuff on it, but over here, this is a plains biome, I think. Yeah, and the moss looks much better with the grass color. I'll try it with a little bit of grass mixed in here. That sounded like a skeleton somewhere. Uh, I think it's Arco Creates. Subscribing with Prime for two months. Thanks so much. Appreciate the support. Hard to see at nighttime. That is not the sound I would have expected tall grass to be placing and make when placed. Yes, uh, I have a resource pack that replaces the grass noise with the dirt noise. And it's because when I was building the modern city and I had to remove an absolute ton of grass to flatten the area, I felt that my brain was twitching with the sounds of the um, of the grass block breaking. So I replaced it with the existing sound for the dirt block breaking. So that's why all my grass sounds like dirt. Uh, the Citadel chat room in the Discord MDocs is for Citadel members only. Um, the Minecraft room, if you just want to talk about Minecraft in general, uh, or you know what's publicly visible on on the server on streams then it happens in the minecraft channel um yeah the 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 citadel chat rooms for um for the discord in my channel are for just the five or six people that are on the server but my like the minecraft channel in the discord is like the public people share all kinds of stuff uh you should have access to the infinity cove channel though uh that's where members of the infinity cove server will share what they're doing and so you might find that might find that helpful. Uh, I think we are going to put these back. I don't like how gross the green looks. So I don't know what we're going to put in here. Maybe we'll use some bushes or something. I feel like oak bushes look better because I think if moss doesn't look good, then azalea is also going to look funny. We think about the two different colors here. Yeah, the oak bushes look a lot nicer. So we'll do that instead. This is where I wish we had an all over grass block in the game because that all over grass block would totally match whatever biome you're in and this would just not be a problem. You'd be able to do whatever you want, which would be nice. Oops. And so I'm going to use that trick where I put um, bushes on the corners of some of the edges of hillsides to try and soft them up. And so I think like along here, we'll add in some bushes.
try not to do it on every corner because then it just starts to feel repetitive. And sometimes if you've gotten a tall enough tree, you can almost get away with a bush underneath it. Oops. More grass required. Thanks for the help, Cosmic. Much appreciated. Getting the uh, the links in chat. All right. Uh, we have oak leaves. It's mostly grass. Coming up short. I think I can get rid of the moss. I don't need that right now. It's not matching what we're doing. Yep, that's that's coming together pretty well. Oh, I missed a block. Anyone else get annoyed with themselves when they take like an entire stream or entire PlayStation to make a path and then <laughs> they find themselves repeatedly just not using the path and coming straight down over the hillside? <laughs> it's like I spent all this time yesterday making that path look nice and now I'm just not even using it. Where's my ferns? Let's try to get some of these going on. This is a nice trick to try and make your stuff look more dense as well as like pile some grass and two high ferns around. I find that usually helps. Do any of these trees warrant like a decent sized trunk? Like maybe we can beef up one of these trees to be more interesting. Maybe that one if we had moved it over a little bit. Thanks for the follows, folks. Appreciate it. Or, you know, spending four years making a medieval town and then flying over that. Okay, well, sometimes that's for time. Because otherwise I'd be spending, <laughs> like, hours of my streams just walking back and forth between places. And that wouldn't be good. No one wants that. Hmm. Let's maybe go... Do I have enough of these? I do. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, do I need any more of this riverside sort of riverbank? Maybe a little bit up here.
I think it was a recent video that I was watching of Pixel Riffs where he was talking about this the pattern that is similar to how a a knight on a chessboard moves. I've talked about it before too. We do two forward and then one at an angle. And it just kind of like it keeps you from doing three things in a row. And if you do that, like it kind of like indicates the direction. So if you if you have something like this riverbank, as I'm placing the grass, sometimes you'll see me do like one, two, and then one off to the side. But it's because the bank runs this way. I'm not I'm not doing that so much. I mean, it works out sometimes with grass because it does that off center placement, but I'm not putting things in a row going this way. I'm usually focusing on running the grass in this direction in little spurts. And then filling in the gaps. Sometimes. And I find that if you approach it as like a one tier at a time, so like you work on this lower tier and then you work on the next one, I find that it tends to go a lot faster. It feels less overwhelming. And I know that we've said it before on the spawn chunks. I've certainly talked about it on, on stream before, but like I would really love to have something similar to these pink petals, um, but in green or other colors, it'd be really fun. So this is feeling a little bland. I think maybe I need to add a bush. And I would say maybe about here. And maybe we'll try something a little bit different. Oh, thanks for the sleep. Lights on. Yeah, it still needs something over here. Maybe we'll break the height of it and go up that way. I find sometimes with these older blocks and the fact that we use um, sodium on the server, I find that sometimes putting grass behind a, a bush can make it look more dense as well. Getting annoyed at not using nicely laid out paths has contributed to me planning builds more around the path that I would actually be walking. Argument being people are lazy and would always opt for the convenient path over the pretty one. I've done that too. I've done that where I've done something in the world and decided um, that I want a path there because I keep on walking in that place. And I've sometimes purposely uh, left an area empty going like, I'm not sure where the path is going to be here. Let's work in this area and see where I walk back and forth a lot. And um, I remember there was a mod that used to leave like footprints or gradually wear down a block. Um, and it would be really interesting because then you could see the paths of players around and then use that to decide where your, where your, your paths are going to be. Cities do it all the time. Have you ever seen like a, you know, might, maybe like there's like a, a crosswalk or a, or a right angle street crossing and then people are just going from one place to the other, but they don't go to the corner and then turn right. They very often will cut across the grass if it's open. So cities will put in sidewalks there to keep people off the grass, you know, but know that they're not going to go straight to the end and turn right on a 90 degree. They're probably going to cut across. So just put a sidewalk there <laughs> and save all the mud, you know, and people slipping in the wintertime and all that stuff, right? All right, I don't want to get up to the second tier just yet. Let's focus on this. Oh, this needs to be rounded out here, doesn't it? Yeah, this needs to be fixed. Um, three.
på jord. Ups. How's that looking? Looks a little bit weird on the map. It feels very sparse because you can't see the little grass pieces. Actual real, not a troll question. Would you consider adding flowers here or do you feel like the bushes and grass are enough? I was actually thinking about that on my break and I was thinking that it would be natural to have not a lot of, but maybe a few of these white uh, Azure Blue flowers uh, and having them over there. Not a ton, but like the logic would be some of the seeds from these flowers might either wash down through the pond or be blown over to the other side. You know, I think that would be, that would be interesting. Uh, do I, I don't know if I have any with me. I, I mean, I have some here at the, at the, did I bring the full green bin? Didn't bring the full flowers. That's right. I got room. We can zip back, grab them. But no, I was thinking about that actually. Uh, let's zip zip. One of these has got all kinds of flowers in it. That is not it. We don't have a ton of those. I've obviously used a lot. That's right. We'll grab that unless I have more that I'm just not thinking about I don't think so though I think I see some in the distance so we can go collect some as well Oh yeah, look at this, right here. Now I do have a little data pack that creates these variants. There's just two kinds. There's like a big one and a small one. And it just kind of depends on what the uh, the tag on the block is like as to what you get. But I find it's a really nice data pack. It, it doesn't break the vanilla mold, you know, like it just kind of says it's either going to be normal or it's going to be kind of big and bushy. And I really like the way that it looks. It helps your flowers not look the same all over the place. That should be fine. New render distance. You can see the whole town. 32 chunks. You just have to wait for it to load in. Shoop. The Shulker Monster Grows. So yeah, I was thinking maybe not over there, but make maybe closer to where some of this birch is happening. And sometimes if you want to be subtle about it, you have to like figure out which block is going to give you a not so bright flower, right? So like a little one. And then sometimes you just take what you can get and cover it with flower or cover it with grass. They look pretty good next to the birch because the birch reminds me of like a flower forest. It's 
see how that looks. I unintentionally have placed them kind of in a grid. <laughs> so maybe not the best placement. Well, let's move this one here, this big one. I want to say maybe here. There we go. And maybe we'll tuck this one back there. I'm really trying to space them out as best I can. Actually, I wonder if a fern would look good there. Oh, a little bit too in line with the fern in front of it. Let's switch that back. More grass required. <laughs> Cosmic. I didn't know you could be that subtle with flowers. Yeah, you know, you don't have to load flowers into a cannon and blast them at your builds. Just, you know, you do have choices. Of course, I'm teasing. Uh, for folks that don't know, Cosmic's um, Somerville on the server, which is their build area, is covered in flowers and i think i was there in one of my streams just before the new year so if you go back to like my december 17th like kind of mid-december streams then you might you might see me walk into somerville i was looking for something i don't remember what i was looking for or dropping off do you remember what it was oh it was pitcher plants maybe was it the time i wanted to get the pitcher plants that might have been it Yeah, I think that's coming along. It feels really strange to be putting this much time into a riverbank, but like when you're walking this way, like you, you really see it all the time. It's in your peripheral vi vision. And when you're coming in from this way, I didn't show this in a screenshot uh, on, on Twitter yesterday, but I really like the way that this looks from coming in here. Like you can see all the points of interest Right. And even now, uh, in a way of kind of like lucky uh, happenstance, like we've got these white flowers now kind of like immediately pull your vision like, oh, there's something down there, you know, and then the trees are a nice wipe reveal, which again, I wasn't planning, but it's nice when they do that is when you have trees like that and then you've got a feature and the feature is behind it, like as they wipe past the camera, then you're like you get more and more as you walk into here. So like you might first see, you know, probably the bell tower would be my guess if you're coming in from this Southern road. Yeah. You're going to see the bell tower from just about everywhere. Right. So you'll focus on that. Then you're like, Oh, I got to watch where I'm going. And then as you get closer, you're going to see the flowers and then you'll see all this stuff here. And it kind of like makes you look left because you, you see more of the town, but then you're going to have this nice little scene in front of it. So you've got, you know, a nice composition. I do try to think about these things as like paintings. So we've got like the white in the tower, you know, um, and maybe even a little bit over there, but then you've got some white down here too, in the birch and the flowers. It's tough because like so much of West Hill is just this gray, you know, gray wall. But I mean, like if you look at a medieval town, like that's what they would look like. They would be pretty much stone. They would probably have more wood in them actually. Um, I could have done a better job designing the wall to have more more structure in it like that, you know? But I kind of wanted that castle feel at the same time. Uh, grass and food. Now, any more of this stuff? 
I don't know that we need to. You'll also notice that I try to be a little bit more sparse with the, uh, the grass as it gets closer to the edge here. And that's definitely on purpose as well. And yes, I could just bone meal this, but it tends to be overdone. See how that looks. I find a good trick is to back up a lot. It's kind of hard to see what's happening when you're in the thick of it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Could probably use a bush or something up there. Or maybe we'll turn that dirt block or that grass block into a bush. That's a little symmetrical. Maybe we won't do that. I like what I did there, the over here with the, the double high fern. I'm going to try to do that somewhere else too. Maybe right in here. Mm, doesn't really work, does it? Something that might work back in there would be like little brown mushrooms. If you can find a spot that had the right light level. I think we're going to add a little bit of a path block in there. And maybe a little bit here. Okay, I think the lower level's done. I just have to pop up here and start doing more of the same. I'm not sure, but this entire time I've been always working from east to west on this river. It's I'm not sure if it's just because that's the way that I happened to start it, whether that's how I envisioned the river flowing towards the town and beyond, but I find that I end up doing the same the same route, you know, like I tend to, rather than traveling back this way, I'll walk over here and then start building and, and moving, moving west.
Out of grass? No, not quite. <laughs> Cats on the keyboard. Always entertaining, but never... Never quite what you want. <laughs> what is it about cats and keyboards? Is it like, I want your attention, I intend to be between you and what you're doing, or is it the warmth? Because sometimes if it's a laptop, I can see it being warm. So the only thing that's kind of jumping out at me is, is that. I don't like that little bush up there. And I feel like we need to throw in... Maybe another white flower back there. And I think there is one back there. I'm just not seeing it from this angle. Yeah. Hey, there's Obu. How's it going? Yoink. Right, so I think I'm going to leave this bank to be part of whatever I decide to do in this whole area. So I'm going to stop here and I'll adjust this on my next stream because that's that's going to take a little bit of work. It's also going to be tricky because you can you can see right where the biome border is. It's hard with this. I wish I could have a pointer without this white box, but. If the white box kind of like goes right over the edge. There's you can see the transition between uh what is a forest and I'm guessing a plains biome. It's either a plains or a sunflower plains, but I think the sunflower plains are all where West Hill is. And this is just a regular plains biome. Yeah. And then the forest biome, the border is like right here. See the transition. I don't remember what our biome blend is on. I think for me, it's like five. It's not as subtle as I wish it could be, but I got a tip. I think it was from Slice Lime on one of his YouTube videos about reducing the biome blend to kind of increase your performance if you're having issues. But I think, what do we think? Do we think those flowers kind of work out that kind of have a nice subtle hint? Kind of like a, a, a book end to the area. They're subtle over there. It's not like there's a lot of them. Swag, thanks very much for the raid. Appreciate it. Weirdly, I can sort of feel like I need something else over here. So maybe what we can do, instead of having flowers, maybe I can sneak in a rock or two. I might need a slab for that. I feel like we might be able to get away with a small stone or something over here. Actually, let's put it here. Just little, little bits. Swag Raid. Well, thanks very much. I appreciate it. What were you up to on stream? Yeah, and we really didn't do much. Like I planted some basic saplings, no custom trees, just cut down a couple of things. You know, if anything, I could probably replace like one of these with a birch tree if I really wanted to. But, you know, they hide that ugly cliff in the back. So we didn't have to do a lot to that. And I just exposed 
the natural stone wall there. And I think the only thing that's happening over there that's a little bit weird is just the top of it. So I'm seeing like little, little things that look funny from a distance that we can fix. But then the top of this could be quickly, you know, fixed up. But I think that's all going to be something I do with whatever happens here. Because whatever happens to this cliff, it's going to affect basically for like here up. So I'll worry about that later. Now you could just go into the rabbit hole of like how many things you have to fix in an area. But I should have taken a screenshot at the beginning of the stream. But like that really is not a whole lot of work, but it's looking a lot better. Uh, finished your power plant in your modded 1.20.1 world and dealing with storage issues. Very cool. Problem solving is always a fun part of the game. And it's a family friendly channel. That's cool. That's good to know. Thank you very much. Yeah, what mod packs are you using? I like that little rock. Simple, but effective. And I would say, if anything, I kind of want another tree or something here. Feels a little bit empty. Maybe that's a good spot for a bush, right? Right behind the flower. See if that fills in the gap that my brain was seeing. It helps a little bit. I think the issue is that these trees are all the same height because of the way that we just grew default Minecraft trees. They all kind of came out the same. That's why I think it's cool. Like if you want to, if you want to create some cool custom trees and whatever, just pillar up like two or three blocks and then grow your tree on top of that and then cut out the bottom and customize the trunk and you get trees of better varying heights that way i find anyway so one last little dusting of stuff in here and we should be good I missed that. I feel like that that's pretty natural.
using add-ons to that mod as well, which make it even more complicated. Right on. Putting the mod pack together yourself. Nice. Thank you, Cosmic. Much appreciated. All right. Let's get up just a little bit higher so we can see what's up. Yep, I don't really have any any big complaints. I think maybe just a few little like little holes here and there, but nothing major. I did notice that I think I stopped when it was meant to go around the corner here. Yeah. And this is just like random. So I think we have to think about, I don't know if we have to think too much about that. I guess we have to go over here to this point of interest and see what we can do. And I think for that, it would just be a matter of smoothing out that cliff and that won't take very long, but I'm not worried about that today. Mostly what I'm focusing on is what it looked like from the East road. And I think we've achieved that goal. So, I've talked about this a number of times, but this is going to make figuring out what to do with this bank a lot easier because now we've got the bridge and the idea of a bush there. And then we have all of this that we just did now. And now to figure out what's going to go in between it, we just kind of blend the two ideas together, right? So you take a little of column A, right? And a little of column B and you smooth out the cliff. Maybe we add like a couple of trees in there uh, or maybe because this is a you know, something you might see as you're walking across. Maybe we do like a little custom tree or something. Um, but between those bushes and the grass and just our kind of like a simple cliff here, I think we can come up with something quite, quite easily uh, because we've made the decision as to what is happening there. And of course this existed already. And then the only thing really left to do for the East River, as far as points of interest go, would be just just tidying up this section right here and this section over here like not very far just like the first 10 or 12 blocks and then i'm fine with i mean i just i would run along here and maybe spam some bone meal or something because it's a pretty smooth you know river i don't think it's you know nothing too crazy there yeah very cool swoosh Oh, I know there was one thing I wanted to check and I wanted to do it while it's getting dark. And that is our light levels. So I'm not worried about the road, but down here, there are definitely spots, but not as many down here as I thought there would be. This light actually goes pretty far. I was debating whether I wanted to do another, another lantern down here, like over on this end, but I don't think I want to do it. I think it might be a little bit too bright. Yeah, I kind of like the mood, so I think we'll leave it. We'll just have to remember uh, Danger Will Robinson. <laughs> if you decide to go down there for whatever reason, maybe stick to the path. Because <laughs> at least you're going to be able to see it. Like, you're not going to be surprised by a creeper or a zombie right here. You're going to be able to see them quite clearly between these two lights. I think you'll be okay. Thanks, Cosmic. I'm glad you like it. Getting mob drops is a fun challenge. Very cool, Swag. That's awesome. All right. Well, uh, unfortunately, folks, this is where I'm going to have to run. Uh, I've got a very busy weekend ahead of me, so uh, I need to go. But I will be back tomorrow. That's uh, Sunday at 1 o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours right now. Uh, speaking of baddies, we've got a spider hanging out in my my pretty riverbank. Sailly spider. Um, but yes, we will be uh, back tomorrow. We can... Uh, Check out things like Patreon to help support the stream. We can check out things like the Spawn Chunks podcast, which we'll post on Monday. We recorded today, but that was because of a uh, Nembun schedule. Uh, and so we've got this great, great developer interview that we did today that's going to be published on Monday, probably a little bit earlier than normal just because we don't have to spend the morning recording. So that's going to be great. Uh, you can also uh, check out things on social media, Joel Duggan, I'm very easy to find. And of course, the Spawn Chunks, sorry, not Spawn Chunks, but the Citadel Cafe podcast. I have too many things, too many things to plug. Uh, that's also free. 
uh, wherever you find your podcasts. And that is going to be recording the first episode of 2024 on Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday, the 17th, I want to say is the 17th. And that's recorded live in my Discord. So if you part are part of the Discord, uh, then you can listen to a live Spawn Chunks. Or, gee, I did it again. A live Citadel Cafe recording in my Discord. Um, thank you ever so much to everybody that kicked off the stream with that hype train, all the bits and support, Cosmic for the lovely donations and the fantastic moderation as always. I really appreciate the links and the break reminders. It's all lovely. Uh, and you folks are awesome. Uh, this has been a really, really fun week coming back to streaming. So um, I'm glad to be back in the swing of things in the new year. And uh, we'll kick off another week tomorrow with more Minecraft. And then we'll just see where the wind takes us. I do want to stream some new games in the new year. So we'll we'll see what's up. Thanks ever so much, folks. I believe we're going to raid Slice Lime. Just let me double check that Slice is still live. He is indeed playing bingo. I think you will enjoy yourselves. I will see you folks tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye for now.